What is Dow doing today to help protect the communities that it operates in? Working on a lot of different fronts. Um, I talked about product chemistry before. So whenever we look at a new class of chemistry, one of the first screens we do uh, with that chemistry is around known carcinogens. And we, so we look at combinations of chemistry and we rule out certain combinations because we're worried that they would, would be something that would be a problem in the future. Uh, so it becomes a design parameter. You design your experiments to say, I'm gonna make a new product to address a certain need but I'm going to do it within certain chemistries that would be acceptable, and I'm going to avoid other chemistries. That's a big one. Uh, how we operate our assets. Uh, we take a look at holistically how we operate the sites. Um, so Midland here, you talked about Diox, and Midland here for an, a number of years has been a facility where we really tightly control discharge water back to the river. And we have to look at um, very, very low threshold levels of waste. We've got a tremendous environmental operations practice here that, that does that for us. Well, we do that at all of our sites around the world. We look at not only things like our air emissions, uh, so any greenhouse gas emissions. We look at our water emissions. We're looking more and more these days at the impact to our communities on fresh water. So how much fresh water do we take in? How much of it might go through the facility one time as cooling water, for example, and go back into a, a body of water? How can we eliminate that? How can we make that maybe completely fully contained within a site? So uh, Ternus in the Netherlands, for example, today, uh, we do a project with Industry Park and the municipality there where we use more recycled water within our facility, which takes the load off the fresh water for them, the, the municipality uses more fresh water, and then we both take more recycled water from the municipality, not only just for Dow, but for other industry partners into their operations as well. And around the world, the idea is to go through our uh, locations because water scarcity is going to become as big an issue as uh, carbon neutrality and make sure that we have a way to address water scarcity. We've always tried to, to manage our own water needs at the sites. We do that through a reservoir system in Texas. We do that different ways at different sites, um, but elevating that. And then I'd say thirdly is transparency and data sharing with the public. So if you look at our 2021 ESG report called Intersections, uh, you'll see a pretty comprehensive reporting of our impact on the environment. That's only going to become more comprehensive and more transparent as we move forward. As, as we get more demands put on us, we're gonna to have to disclose more information. As we get better monitoring and as we develop more targets on things like the water circularity, you'll see us divulge more of that in every annual report. So if you look at this year's report, which will come out, usually comes out sometime in June, um, you'll compare it to last year's report and you'll see another level of detail come out of that. And that's just, I think that's a continuation of the mindset that Mr. Dow had, if you can't do something better, why do it? Um, so we try to bring that to life through those, that reporting and that engagement with the community.